How you doing? This is Avery Von Willingston Van Duncan, and we are playing Sukoden 5. No, really, we are. And we need to head to Yashuna Village now, right? We don't really need to form a party. I mean, I don't think we're going to be in getting into any battles or anything. And, uh... If we do, I mean, we got the prince and... You know... Cius and... What's-her-face? Lele, so... We'll be alright. I mean, the prince will probably be okay on his own, but... Yeah. So we need to head to the Hot Springs Inn what we need to do, and, uh, people are playing Saints Row 4. It's pretty crazy. Alright. So let's see what we were called here for. Oh! Remember her? Sure, Mista! I like her. I don't know why, I just do. She, she wears, like, an Indian head thing, so. Ah, your royal highness, Prince Frasia, and Lady Lucretia Marisus. Thank you for coming out to meet us. Plus, she's pretty adorable, so... What's not to like? I mean, really. My name is Sharmista. I'm an officer of the Western Marine Corps, serving under Commander Shula Valia. A pleasure to meet you. I assure you, the pleasure is all ours. I'm sorry I had to ask you to come all the way out here. Normally, we would have visited you at your castle. However, my commander seeks an unofficial meeting. Oh boy. What could that mean? Spare me the charade. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? I'll be blunt. The truth is, we don't trust you. Not one bit. Oh boy. If you make even the slightest move against my lady, I will kill you where you stand. Uh, Lucretia, you might want to call your dogs off. Huh. Please, you two. Forgive me. They take their jobs a bit too seriously. Particularly Lele here. Oh, I wouldn't... I wouldn't forget Cius. No, no. They have every right to be suspicious. Excuse me. I'm just happy you decided to come all this way. My commander awaits on the second floor. This way, please. Sharmista joins the party. Is she a battle character? I think she is, but I could be wrong. Yeah, she is. I thought so. Oh, it's been so long since I've been this far in the game. I barely remember a damn thing. Sharmista! Agnea. Silver Chakram. So it's basically a long-range attack. Level 1, of course. Ooh, she starts with a Mother Earth rune. That's not bad. Long throw. So her attacks are similar to, like, Sialid's. So. She has atrocious equipment. Look at that. Clothes, boots. And that's it. But, but she does start in level 43, so that's not too terrible. Okay. So I don't remember if she's particularly good in battle or anything, but I imagine she's not bad. Alright, so yeah, the doors here are kind of hidden almost. You just kind of just walk through the wall. And it's kind of hard to see that there's even a door there, but yeah. Commander, His Royal Highness Prince Frasia and Lady Lucretia Marisus are here to see you, sir. Thank you, Charmista. Come in, come in. Here we go. You may enter. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Your Highness, allow me to go first. As this is surely Armas trickery, I shall gladly sacrifice myself. Could you knock it off? That freaking guy, I'm telling you. I think the prince can handle himself. Greetings. I am honored by your presence. Let me introduce myself. My name is Shulavalia. Yeah? Ah. Uh, who the hell's that? It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Lucretia, the prince's tactician. <laughs> sure is easy on the eyes. <laughs> huh, there she goes again. I'm sorry, this is my bodyguard, Nifsara. Please, pay no attention to what she says. 
She has a pretty gross tattoo of a rose on her stomach for whatever reason. I was hoping to talk over a relaxing dip in Yashuna's famous hot springs. But it seems the springs have run dry, at least for now. Yeah, that's still being worked on. Oh, it doesn't have to be a hot spring. A normal bath would be fine with me. My lady, no, absolutely not. Can't tell her what to do. Er, I suppose the lay here prefers to take a shower instead. And here I was, hoping I could scrub this pretty boy's back. <laughs> and of course, they all have little feathers on their heads. I guess that's a, uh, Armus custom or something. Watch your mouth! You dare address his highness that way, you Armus harlot? Now, now, Lelay. Shall we get on with the discussion? All right, I'll get straight to the point. I apologize for my recent intrusion into your lands, but that's not really why I asked to meet with His Highness. Hmm. The truth is that I, along with Sharmista and Nifsara here, would like to work for you and His Highness. Really? Huh. I will not work with that Armus harlot. I won't let her near the prince, and I certainly won't let her near my lady. And you, you androgynous freak, you're on my hit list. <laughs> what? This is intriguing. Doesn't really matter what you say. Your Highness, please wait. What are you really after? This is no Armus trick. I wanted to bring the entire Western Marine Corps with me, but that would have been too much of a burden on you. So, at the very least, I thought that we should offer to help you. So you say, but what's the catch? I was afraid you wouldn't believe me. However, I assure you, I speak the truth. Even Armus would like to see his highness triumph in this civil war. Oh yeah? Mind explaining? You see, like Felena, Armus, too, has deep fissures in its unity. Commander Sparna's Southern Mountain Corps and her faction acted alone in the recent invasion. In return for Commander Sparna's assistance, Godwin promised to cede all former Baros territories to Armus. What? Commander Sparna took the bait and even won over a number of factions at the Grand Council of Chieftains. Meanwhile, Godwin was aggressively pursuing his research on the Sunrune. Once they have full command of the Sunrune, they'll use it to bring Armus under their control. They have no intention of ceding any lands. Pretty much. They want it all for themselves. It was an empty promise all along. Pretty much. The elders at the Grand Council of Chieftains eventually realized that. But not before Commander Sparna had fled back to Armus in disgrace. Godwin must not be allowed to remain in the Sun Palace. Armus is far better off with your faction in power. Probably. His Majesty the King and the Grand Council of Chieftains also agree. And I don't think we ever get to see the king, but, you know. I'm sure he exists, or she. I guess that would be queen, wouldn't it? That's why we were unofficially dispatched on a goodwill mission to provide whatever assistance we could. Don't act so innocent. That was all for Armus's own selfish interests. True, but that's what politics is all about. Doing what's in your best interest. What should we do, your highness? Personally, I think we should accept their offer. I suppose so. We can't trust Armus. I trust them. Thank you, your highness. I'm so happy you understand. If that's your decision, your highness, then so be it, but... This is your final warning. Do not touch the prince. Do not touch my lady. Especially you, Armus Harlot. 
Of course, of course. Well, glad we could join you. At your service. Hey, don't worry, Prince. I'll make sure no one messes with that pretty face of yours. Oh, boy. So they all officially join. Alrighty, then. So they're all in our party, except Sh Shula is not a battle character. But Nifsara is... Shataganta, a spear. Unicorn rune, she has it's the pierce technique. Comes in about the same level as uh, Charmista. Same crappy equipment. Oh boy. Alright. So we want to head back to headquarters. Oh, that's not the door. What am I doing? I don't even know. Also, I believe... Once we get back to headquarters, if you've recruited Josephine, which you obviously should have a long time ago, you'll get an extra scene with her and Shula, which is a pretty entertaining scene. So, that's a thing. Back to headquarters. I'm sure we got more stuff to do. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, here we go. Eek! Bro! Uh, hmm? Uh, I mean nothing, nothing at all. Could they be siblings? Yuma, what are you doing here? M my name is Josephine. You may address me as such, and only address me as such. You miss such a vile, uncultured name. You're still spouting this nonsense. What a brat of a little sister you are. What? Who's little sister? Who are you talking about? I don't have the faintest idea. Uh... I must apologize, Prince... Prince... Prince Prasia. Prince Frasia, this is actually my little sister, Yuma. Ooh... It shames me to admit it, but she fled from home a little while back. I never suspected that she would be in Felena. I am sorry for the trouble my eccentric sister has caused. How rude! Eccentric, indeed! I am a fashion diva! Yuma... What? Prince Frege's army is fighting with Commander Sparna's Southern Mountain Corps. What do you think would happen if it became known that the eldest daughter of the House of Valia was involved? The House of Valia would be treated as traitors, and people might think that His Highness was in cahoots with Armas. Furthermore, you would be the target of attacks yourself. If you can't even see that, then an eccentric sister is too kind for you. Blithering idiot is more like it. <laughs> ah. Ugh. What? You're such a mean brother! Why'd you have to say it like that? <laughs> She's a diva, alright. Hmm. <laughs> At least she has the common sense not to run outside. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching after my little sister. No problem, man. Okay, so we want to head to the war room now, because, you know, it's... It, it's just the right thing to do. But I guess we could go to... Do, uh... Do an investigation before we go there. Bum, bum, bum. We can go ahead and do that. How's it going? Your Highness, let me tell you what I've learned. Okay. Only a certain organization in the Holy Kingdom of Harmonia knows how to manufacture her weapon. Nethergate tried to steal their technology, but failed. In retrospect, that's a very good thing. Yeah. I would say so. Well, Cathari's done. 
Who, who else should we learn about? Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 who do we want to learn about? How about George? Why not? Let's learn about Georgie Boy. If you can learn anything at all, that is. Alright. To the war room. Do 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 How's it going? Ah, Prince and Lucretia, where in the world have you been? Why, what's wrong? Your Royal Highness, our scouts attempted to infiltrate Stormfist. Our scouts attempting to infiltrate Stormfist were assailed by some sort of powerful magic. It was most fortunate that the attack was poorly aimed. Had it been a direct hit, none would have survived. Oh, wow. They say it was just like that crazy Hocus Pocus we saw in Durat. The Twilight Rune, probably. Well, look who it is. Look who decided to join the party. This time, you might be facing a similar... a situation similar to your own. What do you mean by that? I suspect that whoever is wielding the Twilight Rune now may well have been chosen by the rune itself. Hmm. Say what? But who? It does not matter who. The important thing is to stop them at once. You're probably right. I get the feeling they may just be leading us into a trap, but we must go investigate at once. One trap after another, basically. Your Highness. I was hoping we could ignore Stormfist and go straight for Solfalena, but that no longer seems possible. So we gotta go to Stormfist then. They may be plotting something in Stormfist as well. Kilderic and General Novum are in Stormfist at the moment. Maybe we can finally get our payback on Kilderic. If we head for Solfalina now, those two will probably strike at our flank. Almost certainly. And if they bring the Twilight Rune with them, we'll be in even greater danger. Therefore, I suggest that we take out Stormfist first. Probably a good idea. I agree. Stormfist is the stronghold of the House of Godwin. A strike against Stormfist, therefore, would hurt them not only strategically, but psychologically as well. Well, why are we just standing around talking then? Let's stop the mumbling and start the rumbling, I say. Shall we prepare for battle, your highness? So I, I should note before you do the next major battle, make sure you have all of the characters recruited if you want to get the best ending in all 108 stars of Destiny. Absolutely. Everybody leaves the party because why not? Nobody wants to be in the party. They're like, screw that noise. Indeed. The Godwin family is based in Stormfist. That alone guarantees that it'll be heavily defended. Oh, no doubt about that. 
However, we won't be able to infiltrate Solfalena without taking Stormfist first. Hit them with everything we have. Yeah! That's what we shall do.